This is Divine Needle with your collective energy forecast for Aquarius for the time frame of October 13th through 19th. This is going to be a three card spread. And when I say that, sometimes they drop out more than one card. So, here we go. Okay, first, we got two cards for the first. This is your um, overall spirit of the week. Tower and Stronghold of Flame. This is the first one. Then, what we're going to make this week's priority for Aquarius. Seeker, Spirit in Search of Science, and the Captor. So that's the priority for this week. Then we need one more set of cards for possible energy approaching Aquarius this week. What is the possible energy approaching the Aquarius Collective this week? There we go. Kind of slow coming out, weren't they? <laughs> and you appeared in your own reading. Star card. Gives the spirit. Alrighty. So the first thing we have is tower, material and spiritual colliding. Okay, that is Major Arcana, key 16. The tower is the spirit of disappointment. When you feel what you have worked hard for is not propelling you toward the higher ground you desire, the spirit of the tower appears when the message you need to hear is this. Change your direction. Before the physical constru construction of your great work, Can manifest you must build a solid inner foundation focus on that inner foundation and then when the conditions are ripe the physical construction of your great work will manifest this is the moment your material and spiritual worlds collide the spirit of the tower appears to you now in an effort to guide you through the challenge of dismantling your own preconceived notions, a talisman in, is given to you, a battle axe, 
which you must wield to remove the obstacles in your way. Heed these teachings. There can be joy and sorrow and stability and change. Lux mentis, lux orbis, light of the mind, light of the world. Key 16 can also be an omen of armed conflict. Let you all get a good look at that card. And the esoteric symbolism on it. It's your first card. Keep in mind, this is the overall spirit of your week. Your second card in the first pile is Stronghold of Flame, Herald of the Awakening. which is also known as the Page of Scepters. The Stronghold of the Flame, or Page of Scepters, comes bearing an important message to you or an opportunity about career matters, schooling, creative or artistic endeavors, employment or passion projects. The Page of Scepters appears as affirmation of a coming adventure, a quest that will be presented to you. Your creativity and ingenuity will be the deciding factors on how you navigate that quest. The presence of the Stronghold of the Flame can also be an emissary sent by a solar deity, a divinity of the fires, of agriculture or artisans, or a pantheon from the southern hemisphere. So... That is your overall spirit for the week. Then, what to make this week's priority? <laughs> Get a great card, the seeker. Spirit in search of science. And then you also got the captor, eight of swords. So the Seeker is a zero key, which is a fool card, basically, for anybody. And this particular deck has three of them. The Seeker, I'll hold it up so you can look at the symbolism. The Seeker is the fool who seeks answers, who seeks to know. This is you in search of specific guidance. Use the seeker for key zero when divinatory insight is sought, when the adept needs guidance midstream along a path, or when you seek divine counsel on a material matter. Nice. So this reading so far seems to be very um, work-related, career Okay, then we've got the Eight of Swords, which is called the Captor. Okay. Hold that for you. The Eight of Swords, the Captor. You are feeling bound by the threads of fate. You are pull, being pulled in so many op oppositional directions that now you cannot move in any direction at all. When the captor appears to you, it is a message from beyond warning you that there is, has been undue interference in your path. The themes here are having to confront the evils of oppression aggressions of those in a superior position to hurt those who are helpless and meek, feelings of isolation, but also that prophecies will be delivered to you through your dreams. 
When the captor appears to you, begin paying closer attention to your dreams. This is the spirit of shortened force, of obstruction. When the Eight of Swords appears to you, take immediate action toward unbinding yourself and cutting loose from all that is trying to hold you down. The way out is not to exert your own force against the oppression, but to use the oppression against itself. Instead of struggling with your own strength to escape the bindings, use the blades of the swords blocking your path to cut yourself free. And then possible energy approaching you this week. We have a major, another major arcana which is the healer, the star card, which is key 17 in this particular deck. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Are we getting clues? <laughs> Many of my fellow Aquarius watchers will understand this card and this reading very well. You have overcome a brutal yet necessary trial in your life, and now your holy guardian angel returns to heal your battle wounds. The healer appears to mend that what has what was broken. Capax D capable of receiving the divine. The mind is formed in the image of God, and in that it is capable of divinity. Your capacity of holding divinity within you is now being revealed. The goblets pour forth hope and faith, hope and faith in yourself that you are capable of greatness. Key 17 is the star of the Magi, and when the healer appears to you, the fragments of your broken world will be healed. This is the omen of restoration, of rebuilding, salving, and alleviating your pains. When the healer is making her presence known to you, it is a prophecy that a blessing is soon to be conferred. Amazing reading. So, big changes in the career front for Aquarius Watchers. Big changes. Now I'm going to share an Archangel Oracle card for a last message for the Aquas. My fellow Aquas. I'm an Aqua, Aquarius Sun. Ooh, that one popped out quick. Claire Cognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Um, it looks like many of you are going to be taking a spiritual journey that is going to be part of your path, possibly with your career. So, I hope you all have a absolutely stupendous week after the full moon in Aries and which was also called the hunter moon anyway take care until next week <laughs>